one thing that hidden leaders cannot do. You are not likely to find an organization that has a grassroots movement among the front lines and the front line supervisors that changes the culture of an organization. This is the responsibility of senior executives. Because if you consider that culture, this oft used term to describe the environment and the, the setting that people work in, it is really about mindset. That mindset that is the beliefs that shape people's behaviors. And those beliefs come from a few specific things that we notice if we're in a workplace. Uh, specifically, we notice who the role models are. You know, who are the exemplars, the people who are out in front? And you tend to see leaders in an organization exhibiting very specific behaviors, some positive, some negative, but we look to them as the norms and what is accepted and what gets rewarded and what gets punished. That's the second part. You've got to have a reward system with both positive, you know, the, the proverbial carrot, uh, as well as the consequences for not behaving in, in a specific way. Now, remember, these rewards and consequences, they're not necessarily outcome oriented. We're talking about what do you reward in terms of behavior and what do you uh, have consequences for in terms of behavior that's unaccepted. I've seen a lot of uh, dysfunctional cultures, unfortunately, where bad behavior was tolerated because someone put forth good results, and that will kill a culture. So you have to make sure you get that right. Um, then the third thing I would say is that leaders have to be able to make a connection to the rational self-interest of their people. You know, sometimes we'll talk about rational self or self-interest, period, as a negative. You know, that person's too self-interested. Everybody has some level of rational self-interest, and leaders at every level of an organization have to understand what that is for people on their team so they can find a way to appeal to that in terms of the behaviors that, are, that they want to see exhibited. Uh, and then finally, once you do those three things and uh, you're starting to establish the kind of culture that supports leadership across the business and everywhere in the organization, then you start to see the impediments. They might be processes. They may be systems. And the thing is that you need to change the processes or the systems or the compensation, whatever it is, that is the impediment to achieving the culture versus uh, the other way around and saying, well, we'll adapt to this. And that's the other mistake people make. So those three things, role models, rewards and consequences, and people's rational self-interest, and then deal with the impediments in the environment. Mm -hmm.